So today we want to take you on a walkthrough of the newest Keystone Fusion floor plan. It is a 425 and we have been working with Fusion for a couple of years now trying to come out with a new floor plan and this is finally it. This is the proto that we're going to walk you through so there are still some changes going on but we just want you guys to get a sneak peek of what we've been working on up until now. Let's go check it out. So we're going to start at the front and work our way back to the most exciting part. Come on up. So they have increased the space in the bathroom. We've got some towel storage there, a bigger countertop here. The toilet is going to get repositioned. Um, but for now, at least it gives you an idea of what it is because this is one of those prototypes that we talked about earlier. But we were talking to the factory rep and he was telling us that the toilet's going to turn. They're going to rework this wall a little bit so that you don't see the back of it. The bedroom is similar to the old Fusion bedrooms with the closet doors over there this is going to be your washer dryer prep in this closet um, the dresser area is the same the colors have changed but what they did do was this bed slide now goes out five inches further which gives you between the foot of the bed and the stressor extra space so whether it be you're trying to get dressed or sit on the edge of the bed and tie your shoes they've given you some extra space here and as always there's still storage underneath Now let's go down to the kitchen. The kitchen is a combination of three floor plans. The 427, which had the kitchen over here or the sink over here. The 428, which is the open floor plan that we currently have. And the 424, which we won't talk about what's special about that until later. Um, they do have a 12 volt fridge, which is huge. This is your theater seating. And then on this end, we have the pull out couch, which was another thing that was in the 428 cabinetry above we have an island which one of the things about the 428 that we love 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 is the open floor plan yes this does take up space but what's cool about this island is it's on wheels you can move it wherever you need extra floor space the ends tuck down and it slides in this compartment so if you don't need it it's under here you still have shelves under it that you can store stuff on if you do need it you can pull it out and then look at the pantry Still have your fireplace, your sound system, the TV, storage above, gas stove, and convection microwave. But what this has that the 428 doesn't have and the 427 doesn't have, but the 424 did, is a side patio. So we already talked about the outside patio and showed you that there's a TV out there, but what's exciting about this floor plan is it also still has an outside kitchen. They changed it up a little bit this year, so we have some storage up top, which cabinets, which is great because we don't have that on ours. You have the small fridge, which is perfect for drinks, and a pull-out cooktop. And the underbelly storage, guys, way different. Before we look at the underbelly, let's look at this. So if you have a Fusion, you will know what a big deal this is. They moved the propane to one tank on either side instead of being under the nose because that was such a hassle trying to get in and out. But what they also did on our 428, this pass-through is this small, but on this new one, the pass-through goes all the way through to here. So you have this huge space that they were able to change that because they moved the propane tanks. Your generator is still down front like it always has been but your hydraulics and your battery moved under here where the propane used to be. The water bay, everything pretty much stayed the same here. And as always, endless hot water, which we love in our Fusion. One thing they did do is switch back to the Lippert six point hydraulic um, auto level system. In previous models, it had been equalizer. So you will see that that has changed back on this model. Another thing that has changed this year is solar with Keystone. As you all are familiar, it used to be the 200, 400, 600. Now it's a 220, 440, 660, and Outlast Extreme 1320. Can't show you a whole lot in here because they're still unpacking. It's a bit of a mess. But the key points that they did change in the garage is now 
the access to the loft is up top, but it's still open. So this end is open with some bars to keep anyone from falling out. And then your access to that loft is gonna be over here. And instead of having a ladder that you had to keep up with, they have switched this year to one of the collapsible ladders. So you would just open it up and stack it here. And then when you don't need it, right now it's stored in the bedroom up front, but it's only about this tall and this wide. So that's exciting. I hope you all love the 425 as much as I do. And I hope you enjoyed your tour today. For more RV tours, be sure to check out our channel, finduscamping.com. Click on any videos that are um, camper reviews or walkthroughs.